the previous example was a good example to understand how the post route works, the view, the controller, the create and store function, and how to access the request with the data that we pass through the form. Not bad, but most probably you will have to create a user through some kind of registration system. After the user registers, then the login can happen. So what about doing some work with the authentication system in this video? It is actually very simple with Laravel. If you run PHP Artisan, so let's try this, you will see all the available commands. This time we care about the make auth. Guess what? This will create everything that we need for registration and login, including views, routes, controllers, and validation. Amazing, isn't it? You will also have right out of the box the reset password feature. So that's good. So let's run this. PHP Artisan, make auth. Okay, now what? What happened? To start, let's access the basic pages that Laravel created for us. The first one is the login. So, slash login, and you can access the login page. We also have the registration form, and of course, the forgot your password, which is the reset password page. Let's see how the registration form works. If we try to register without filling any field, we get some validation messages that help us to fill the fields correctly. By default, all the fields are required. The email field, let me try this, so for the name is Renato, for the email, if we try to enter some random stuff, it actually requires a valid email. So that's a great help for us. Suppose we fill all the fields correctly. So, test at gmail.com and the password will be 111111. Now we should get a new user in the database. And we do. So, not only that, but Laravel will log in automatically. You can check the users table to make sure that the user was created. So, if we go to the database and the users table, we see the user here, right here. That's great. Let's log out and log in again. So, log out and try to log in again. The email is testauth at gmail.com and the password is six ones. Perfect, it works. So what really happened when we ran the makeauth command? It looks like Laravel generated all the code needed for a basic authentication. Let's take a deeper look to what Laravel did for us. In the web file, so let me find it, Laravel has added two new routes, the home route and an auth routes and this actually adds a bunch of other routes. But what is really inside there? Let's find out. Search for route.php and it is inside vendor Laravel framework SRC Illuminate routing. You have to scroll down a bit and uh, you will find an auth function. Let me find it right here. So this function contains all the routes that we have available, but we cannot see in the web file. As you see, we have routes for login, register, logout, and reset password. We already show the first three, but not reset password. I will not explain the reset password in this video because I have to set up my Gmail account to send emails, but we will of course look at this in the future. But for sure, this works 100%. Taylor Otwell, the creator of Laravel, made sure that it works. Next step is to see the views. The views, as you already know, are inside resources, views, and you can find them right inside auth folder. This is just HTML, so I'm not going through the views, but it is a good exercise to take a look at them. However, there is nothing new there. So there you go. You have authentication ready for your application, but it is basic, isn't it? What if we want to add a couple of more fields like birthday and location? Well, we will take a look at this in the next video.